In the books of Revelation and Colossians, we see that Christ is in the process of making all things new and reconciling all things to himself. I believe that acts of environmental reclamation and remediation follow Christ's works of redemption and reconciliation. Environmental science is a study of the Earth's critical zone, which is the Earth's skin or near surface ranging from the top of the vegetative canopy through the saturated groundwater zone and extending laterally across the terrestrial environment and even the shallow ocean. This zone is where most of the processes occur that are critical to sustaining life. What drove me into graduate study within environmental science were the natural and anthropogenic processes of soil and water contamination that threaten human life and health. During my PhD, I conducted several field campaigns in Cambodia, looking at the arsenic contamination of groundwater driven by a natural process. I was interested in this problem in particular because of its scale. Over 100 million people were exposed to arsenic contaminated drinking water in South and Southeast Asia alone. My research team collaborated with a Christian NGO working in the areas of water quality and hygiene. It was transformative for me to witness the NGO staff, the majority of which were local villagers working to improve human health in the region. I've been able to continue water quality work and pass my knowledge on at Multnomah. Over the past few years, my students have monitored various parameters of water quality for a local fish hatchery. The data my students have collected and presented continue to inform water management decisions for the hatchery today. In addition, I've had the opportunity to collaborate on research examining metal contaminated soils that will hopefully lead to remediation efforts that follow the pattern of making all things new. Environmental science graduates from Multnomah will likewise have the opportunity to pursue redemptive and reconciliatory work for the glory of Christ's kingdom.